Hey gang, Jackalair here. Uh, we are playing uh, one of the games that made me drool over the PlayStation uh, from the beginning. Let me turn that down a little bit. Um, and that is Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver. Now, I, for those of you who have watched me for a while, you know that Legacy of Kane Blood Omen, the first game, is one of my favorite games of all time. And I really wish that there would be a remake. Uh, but with so many defunct companies and there's uh, Silicon Knights and Crystal Dynamics, uh, they're both busy doing other things, I'm guessing. But I loved every game in this series. I loved Blood Omen. I loved Blood Omen 2. Legacy of Kane, Soul Reaver. Soul Reaver 2. Defiance, I think, was the last one. There might be one in there I'm forgetting. Anyways, so we're going to go ahead and I just, I was going to start us in game and then I realized I really wanted you guys just to see this screen. This screen freaked me out as a young adult. Because I was playing, I was playing this, this came out in, oh, I have it on my phone. This came out, uh, crap, I don't remember, but this came out while I was in the military and as Amy Hennig was like wearing three hats on this job. So for those of you who are fans of her work, that will explain a lot. Let's scoot over a little bit. Um, so spoilers, by the way, there are going to be, I'm going to go through some spoilers here just because I've played all of these games. So if you at any point want to check out, so this is Nosgoth. That's the world. The clans tell tales of him. Few know the truth. And he's going to tell some stories. Mm -hmm. Basically what happened is, and we're going to skip that whole thing because that's a really long cutscene, but it sets up everything. I know you, Razier. You that are is worthy. Tony J. And for those of you who don't what know who Tony is J this? is. What pitiful form is this that I've come to inhabit? Awesome. Death but, would so, be a release um, next to this travesty. The voice acting in this game alone abyss, is, is I have only spared you from total it. dissolution. I would choose oblivion over this existence. The choice is not yours. I By the way, I don't know if you can stone. see my breath, but it drops. You are so reborn. cold. So cold. I also don't the know if you can hear my heater. One of King's abominations so traps the skip? essence of life. Skip. It is this also playing today on the uh, DualShock 4 lived in. Uh, because I and that Raziel found out that the, the DualShock 4 will work on the God. PlayStation Classics and now I have there analog sticks. There is no sticks. balance. The souls of the and dead remain trapped. And this is one of those games where analog sticks just really seem to... the wheel of fate. They cannot complete their destinies. Uh, okay, so... Redeem yourself. He, this is the Elder or God. Or prefer... Or Something like that. And basically what he's saying Settle your dispute is, with Cain. Uh, Destroy him because and they broke out of the cycle. So there's supposed to be this cycle, those the pillars you saw in the opening. Again. Each of those represents a virtue or aspect of the world Become or my soul And Reaver. Cain was the last my angel uh, aspect. What's, ha what's supposed to happen is all of the guardians, the world becomes corrupt. All of the guardians die, the guardians of the pillars, and then everything starts over. New guardians, new world, yada yada yada. Okay, so. Oh, I do not remember this being like this. This is the problem when you come back to old games. Oh, uh, These Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver is on sale space, right now. Laying a path across great spans. I don't remember what this does. Uh, 
That's the tele fast travel. Oh, that's right. So this is Raziel. Raziel uh, got a raw deal in that he grew wings and I'm going to tell the story from the perspective of here because I know what's really going on because I've played the whole series. So, Cain got angry at Raziel for growing wings before him, apparently. And, uh... You are weak. You must feed. The old hunger has left me. I have no desire for blood. You are changed. Your bloodthirst is replaced by a deeper need. You have become a devourer of souls. To sustain your strength, you must hunt the lost spirits That's of the so underworld weird. and consume the souls of your enemies. Consume the souls of your enemies. Yep, got it. Yep. Not without purpose. Take hold of them as you leap, and they will carry you across this chasm. I just, Tony J is just. It's just awesome. But I remember the. the... What scabrous wretches are these? Shua, the scavengers of the underworld. Their feral hunger has claimed countless souls, spirits who now shall never find their rest. Okay, sure. Yeah, so if they feed on the souls, they will get the souls back before you. forgot. They ignore. This does nothing. I forgot this is before analog was, uh, like, confirmed or mandatory. Whatever. Is it? 
are your conduit between the spectral and material realms. With their aid, you may gather matter and will yourself to become manifest in the physical world. This is taxing, however. Your strength must first be fully restored. You require no conduit to return to this plane. You may abandon your physical body at any time. Sustain your strength to prolong your manifestation in the physical world. If you fail to feed or absorb too many wounds, this fragile matter will dissolve. Yeah, so basically what will happen is that this... Can I do that yet? Nope, I can't. Eventually I think I can climb it. You upgrade and get powers, you solve puzzles. retain many of your vampiric weaknesses. Immersion in water, while not fatal, will dissolve your physical body, forcing your return to the spirit world. Be aware that in the spectral realm, water has neither heft nor lift. It stands as thin as air. Scuttling beasts could not be kin of our high blood? Do you suppose that time stood still for you, Raziel? Much has changed since you passed from the world of. Oh, men. yeah, you were in that. So, Cain got mad. Uh. Through. Every, through Raziel. I knew well. my opponent's weaknesses, having suffered them myself. Physical wounds are fleeting. Vampire's immortal flesh begins to close as soon as it is cleaved. Vampires need only fear those wounds that impale or inflame. Water scorches like acid, and fledglings are devastated by sunlight's touch. I would have to modify my tactics to suit my foes. Unfettered from the flesh. A creature's soul fades swiftly into the spectral realm. Draw it in quickly, Raziel, or you will be compelled to follow.
Physical prowess surpasses what you knew in life. Even massive obstacles can be moved effortlessly. Yep, yep, got it. Like, oh, this game was super awesome, and the graphics were amazing, and then you're playing it, and you're like, mm, I don't know, he's got like eight polygons. Sanctuary of the clans reduced to ruin. Beyond these walls lay the pillars of Nosgoth, the seat of King's Empire. How humble it now appeared, collapsing into the dust of its former magnificence. And yet, I had only just emerged. In the instant between my execution and resurrection, centuries had apparently passed. This world is wrecked with cataclysms. The Earth strains to shrug off the pestilence of Cain's parasitic empire. Yeah. The fate of this world was this preordained in an instant it's by a solitary to man. Unwilling to martyr himself to restore Nazgul. So I'm gonna go ahead and call it there. Cain condemned the world to the decay heavy you see. Uh, in that moment, the unraveling began. But yeah, if you now, if you like what you see, uh, I believe it's on sale on Nosgoth Steam right now. Nazgul on the brink of collapse. Uh, it's yeah, fragile I think it was like 80 some percent off, so give it a shot. Um, otherwise, uh, thank you very much for watching, and as always, play on! <laughs>